I want to call the uh, special meeting of Davis County Fiscal Court to uh, order. Uh, this is our Friday, August 12th meeting. If you would bow and pray with me. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the ability to come together uh, and do the people's business, do their work. We ask that you give us wisdom and understanding and above all, give us the courage that we need to make decisions for the right reason. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Once again, welcome to our Friday, August 12th special meeting of Davis County Fiscal Court. On our agenda, we have three items. Those are the only items that we will be discussing today. Before I get started, I want to uh, recognize Rep Representative Suzanne Miles. She happens to be my representative, all of our representatives, but I know I'm in her district. Uh, Suzanne, thanks for being here this morning. Jenny, are you ready? Yes, sir. Item one, consideration for approval, a resolution 14, 2016, and to apply for funding of the Friendly Village Sewer Extension Project. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. David, would you talk to us about why we're going through this and what we hope to accomplish? Judge, what you all will be approving is a resolution uh, that's required by the Kentucky Infrastructure Authority, um, along with uh, authorizing you to sign all the different forms. Uh, the Kentucky Infrastructure Authority has a, a low interest loan program that we will be wanting to utilize for the friendly uh, park sewer extension project. Commissioners, any question or comment? We have uh, Joanna Shake with Grad out here. Joanna, do you have anything that you would like to add to what Mr. Smith said? Come, we, we want to see your pretty face and want to hear your lovely voice and so do the people out there listening and watching. The only comment I would add is that these funds will be utilized for the match for the block grant that we will submit in May. Okay. So this is our 50% match. That's the CDBG money. grant that we will submit next year. That's right. exactly right. Okay. Any other question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. B, package wastewater treatment plan agreement with Owensboro Davis County Regional Water Resource Agency regarding Cedar Hills and Friendly Park. Move to approve. Second. second. I have a motion and second. Mr. Smith. Yes, Judge. Since uh, Scott Lewis had notified the Public Service Commission uh, that he was going to be discontinuing service to Friendly Park and Cedar Hills, we've been in numerous meetings with uh, RWRA about how the process is going to work during receivership. We had come to verbal agreements, Judge, as you recall. Uh, this just formalizes those verbal agreements, setting out what our responsibilities will be and what uh, RWRAs will be. The I think everyone knows the, the, the keynotes are that we, we will help them acquire uh, all the easements and right-of-ways. That basically just means that if we get a list of people, uh, you know, commission, one of the commissioners or yourself may know that person and be able to go visit them and encourage them to come to an agreement to, to help uh, put the sewer line down. In addition, it, it spells out why we're doing the first part, and that is that, that we would provide the financing uh, for the Friendly Park project. And that financing that we provided would be paid back to fiscal court in the form of a monthly charge that would That's be added correct. to their bill. Commissioners, questions or comment? Judge, I'd just like to thank you and David and uh, all the others. Y'all have spent a lot of countless hours back and forth to Frankfurt and all, and this is a serious matter, and I'm glad that we're at this point uh, in the progress. Commissioner, yes, thank you, and you're right. We've spent a lot of time, and we're probably about halfway through the entire process. Now comes the fun part where we're lobbying our representatives to get the funding that's necessary to do these things. I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, Joe Shepherds with RWRA and their board for listening to us and putting up with us. 
I also want to thank uh, Commissioner Sandra Dunahoo of uh, the Department for Local Governments and Suzanne, you again for intervening there for us and Joanna, you, you have accompanied us as well. So uh, we're part way there, uh, still have a way to go. I doubt if things went at best, David, year and a half from now, two years from now, I think that's what RWR has said is that okay. construction, I, they, I believe they've just advertised for design, uh, for a company to design it. Once uh, you get through that, you've got to get all the easements and... So in, the, in the meantime, RWRA will, if, if things go as we believe they'll go, uh, the circuit court, uh, Franklin Circuit Court will appoint RWRA as receiver and they will operate those package plants. Uh, I think they're thinking that they will be take over actual operation October 1st. Okay. If there are no other questions or comments, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oppose. Motion carries. Uh, Commissioner, I, did you want a question? I saw you raise your hand and then put it back down. No, I was just going to make a comment that, that this is probably as important as anything we can do for the neighbors in both of these subdivisions. So. This is a big deal. It certainly impacts the lives of 200 families and, and the value of, as I've said before, what is arguably their largest asset. So thank you, Commissioner. Next item, Jenny. C, award quote for heavy equipment rental for hauling shale material landfill. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second, Mr. Johnson. Yes, Judge, this was an emergency procedure that was a result of the poor weather conditions restricting our ability to move material and prepare for the liner installation of our new landfill cell. Uh, we have approximately 41,000 cubic yards of shale clay to move. To avoid having to winter the cell mid-construction, we need to move this material as soon as possible. Uh, two scenarios are presented, one conservative, one optimistic. The difference is the loads per hour, which will depend heavily on weather conditions in the operator. Davis County Fiscal Court received three quotes. Envision Contractors was the lowest and best evaluated quote, meeting all expectations and projected schedules. It is our recommendation to award Envision Contractors this project in the amount of $195 per hour. Okay, Jordan, thanks. And I want to uh, especially thank you for the analysis that you did. On the surface, the $195 an hour seemed high. Uh, we did get some quotes for less than $195 an hour, but when you looked at the size of the pan that they were going to provide, uh, most of those uh, lesser quotes were for a 17 cubic yard pan, and Visions is for a 28 yard cubic pan. So in the end, when you look at the number of cubic yards and the cost per hour and what they can do, uh, there's a considerable savings there. So the Envision had the uh, low bid for a onesie, twosie, half a day or all day uh, bid, but we felt that we needed to go back and do a better analysis here. Commissioners, any question or comment? Question or comment by the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. And with that, if there's no other business to be brought before Davis County Fiscal Court without exception, we're adjourned.